Hey kiddos, welcome back. It's Mr. Hummer again, and today we're gonna show you a little demonstration. I want to illustrate to you what a compound is, um, what a homogeneous mixture is, and what a heterogeneous mixture is. In addition to that, I wanna show you something called the Tyndall effect. So a whole bunch of stuff we need to talk about today. So I have a pure compound here. Remember compounds are considered pure. This is sodium dichromate. It's sodium, chromium, and oxygen atoms all chemically bonded to each other. It's nice and it's a pretty orange color salt. I'm just gonna put a little bit of salt um, uh, in each of these beakers. Not a whole lot, just a little bit, just so we can see the color. So I'll put a little bit in the first beaker and try to put about the same amount in my second beaker. Now, right now I have pure, a pure compound inside my beaker. It's not a mixture yet. Off to the side, I have some distilled water. This is also a pure compound. Remember how we talked about making distilled water in an earlier video. So I wanna take my pure compound, distilled water, and I'm gonna add it to my pure compound, sodium dichromate. And when I do that, the water acts as the solvent. It dissolves the sodium dichromate, which is my solute, it gets dissolved in both beakers. And like I said, it makes a pretty uh, orange, maybe a yellow orange solution. Remember, solutions are homogeneous mixtures. We'll stir each of these up to get all of the sodium dichromate to go into solution in both. All right, I think we've done it. All right, now I have a laser here and this laser, I'm gonna to try to shine through these beakers. Well, I will shine through the beakers. And the laser light has nothing to reflect off of inside the beaker because the beaker has a homogeneous mixture in there, a solution. If there were small particles to reflect off of, we'd see the beam. But in this case, this is homogeneous, so we shouldn't be able to see the beam of light as it shines through these beakers. So I'm shining the laser light through the beakers right now, and I'm gonna give you an aerial shot, and you'll see you cannot see the beam through either beakers. There's the first, and there is the second. I'll move my laser here. You cannot see the beam, I promise you. It's turned on, but you don't see a beam of light in those beakers. Now, this is called a negative Tyndall effect. To one of the beakers now, I'm gonna add another homogeneous mixture. This is silver nitrate dissolved in water. And I'm just gonna add a few drops to one of the beakers and we're gonna form what's called a precipitate. It's a solid forming in solution. Sort of fun to watch. So I'll put the camera over top and you'll be able to see that precipitate forming. It looks almost blood red. We'll put a few drops in there. There we go. And that now becomes a heterogeneous mixture because we have a solid in, uh, in, in the liquid. We have two different phases there and it's suspended in there. I'm gonna mix it up and you're gonna see that it almost looks like it disappears. It almost looks like a pure solution again, doesn't it? So what's gonna happen when I shine the laser through that? Well, let's find out. Here we go. Here is my heterogeneous mixture now because there's a solid suspended in the water that we really can't see any longer. And my laser light is now turned on. And can you see the beam passing through there now? That's a positive Tyndall effect. It's reflecting off of those small particles that are suspended in that mixture, showing that it's heterogeneous. There's more than one phase in there now, not homogeneous. Now let me go back to the solution again where we can't see the beam any longer. So once again, my laser light's on and you cannot see the beam through there because there are no particles to be reflected off of. There are no solid particles in there. It's all one phase. So this is a negative Tyndall effect. And this kiddos is what we call a positive Tyndall effect. There you go. Thanks for your time today.